Oh, what's up guys? Al here from Central Pennsylvania Reviews. Today I want to make a response video to the one, the only, Mega Daniel 29. Or as you might know him, Mega Dan 29. Not to be confused with Mega Dan 28. That guy's a real jerk. Stick with 29. He's the best Mega Daniel out there. You won't be sorry. So he made a video showing his top three video game covers of all time. Any console, any generation, didn't matter. And I thought, man, that's really cool. So I wanted to do it. So here it is. Hope you like it. So, for number one on my list, I'm going to have to go with Bioshock Infinite. No, not that cover. The other one. Yeah. Okay, so, I played the first two Bioshock games relatively early, and they were awesome. I thought they were great, they're very dark and gritty, you know, you're underwater in this cool town running around beating up junkies and you got these little girls it's creepy it's cool it's dark and then bioshock infinite came out and i was like what the hell is this i, I don't want this this looks dumb it's not gritty it's not dark it's bright and shiny and yeah so i didn't play it when it first came out yeah whatever Maybe one day I'll play it. So, happened to be in the video store one day, and uh, looking around, boom, this cover pops out. Not to be confused with the one that's it was released with. Apparently, this one is a reverse cover. It's on the back of the regular cover. I saw that cover, bright red label on the end, and I said, I have Shock Infinite. Wow, this cover is really neat. It's very plain. That dull kind of blood red. Little design on the front. Nothing over the top. Nothing fancy like the original cover. It's just very plain and unique. And it was cool. You know, three colors. Black, white, red. And I was like, well, you know, maybe I should give this game another chance. So I picked it up. And... Yeah, it's a good game. It's still not as good as the old Bioshocks, but it was still good. And the cover is what draw me in. And that's why it's one of my favorites. It's, just, it's one that actually grabbed my eye and made me go, hey, maybe I should play this game. So, I hope you like that one. Because the rest are just as cool. So for my second one, it's gonna kind of be a four for one. I know what you're saying. That's eh, kind of cheating. You can't do four for one. Well, you know what? It's my video. So, deal with it. Once you see these four, you'll realize that they're, they're all very similar. And it's all the same storyline, all the same character. So, it works. And these four are... Zelda. Zelda 2. Super Nintendo Zelda, and the first one on the Nintendo 64. They're all the same. Very similar. They're all just plain. You know, the first one had the shield, second one had the sword, Super Nintendo had the sword and shield, and then Nintendo 64 one, sword and shield. And if you haven't noticed, I like a lot of plain minimalistic stuff these are great covers you're saying to yourself well they're kind of dull that's awesome they knew what they wanted to make they wanted to keep you knowing what you're going to play knowing that the songs are going to sound similar knowing that the gameplay is going to be similar characters are similar they wanted to you to remember that this is zelda and that's why they're all very similar. They're bland with that focal point. 
and that big blocky text that just draws your eye in and you're like yes i know what this is going to be this is going to be zelda it's that same brownish gold and it's i'm going to be playing zelda like i always play zelda and it worked these four are probably some of my favorite four zelda games in the whole series so that's my number two a four for one and on to number three. So for my third choice, it's going to be a game called It Came From The Desert. Now, originally, this game was released on, I think, the Amiga and DOS. And they were going to have it ported over to the Sega Genesis. But I think the company ran out of money. And they didn't finish the game, and it went... But, apparently, when they were done with it, they were like 99% done with it. So, I think in 2000-something, they released it on a ROM for Genesis, and I think they released a cart, and I think they're doing another uh, pre-order sale for the cart, so you can play it on your Sega Genesis. And, which is really neat. So the Sega Genesis cover is kind of a fan-made one. I think it's really cool. It's very kind of pop art where it's, you know, minimalistic, solid shapes. And it's just, you never saw anything of it of the time. And that's because it's a fan cover made in like, I don't know, whatever they made it in the 90s, 2000s. So, that one's really cool, but the one for the Amiga DOS one is really cool, too. It's, obviously the name is a play on words, you know. Like, the It Came From Outer Space, the very generic B-movies from the 60s, the monster ones, where they were just, like, all the covers looked very similar, and it was very nostalgic. And so the Amiga one is really neat but i also like the sega genesis one it also reminds me this isn't this is kind of tying it in but it reminds me of zombies ate my neighbors which is another kind of 50s the cover is kind of very 50s nostalgic b-movie stuff i like zombies ate my neighbors but i like it came from the desert better i have yet to play this game i downloaded it uh, so i want to try it I downloaded the DOS version and the Genesis ROM. So I'm going to see what it is. So I don't even know if it's a good game or not. I just really like the cover. It's really unique. The old one and the new one. They're just very cool for a video game cover. Almost looks like a movie poster, the old one. And the new one's just very... I don't know how to put it. It's simple. It's not overpowering. It's like something I might design. So those are my top three. Obviously, they're probably not my top. You know, they're just ones that really stick out in my brain. If I go back and look at it and look at every cover, I, there's probably other ones that I like maybe more. These ones really stick out to me. Yeah, you got a four for one in there, but, you know, I like to save you money. I like to get you more bang for your buck. And if you notice, they're all very plain simplistic covers and that's just kind of how I like my stuff I don't like flashy stuff I don't like the generic covers that they use on a lot of things and um yeah I hope you liked it can't wait to see your response video and I will catch you later hey there thanks for watching if you liked what you saw Give that like button a flick. Or, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. That would be swell. And you can follow us on other social media platforms, like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now. So, I also have a runner up. This one I was going to throw in with the Zelda ones, but it's not of the same series, though it looks similar. 
it, it's just a great cover and I, I have to include it. You know, S sue me. And that's Fazanadu, or Faxanadu, or however the, however you want to say it. Everybody says it's different. Whatever. Fazanadu. You know the game. Now look at that cover. It's kind of like Zelda. You know, it's very plain. It's got the blocky font and then that little little badge in the center. I guess they kind of made it look like stone. If you played the game, you know, it's... If you look at the little badge, it's a little tree in there. And if you play the game, the whole thing takes place in a tree. And I love the font. This font is fucking awesome. It's that big blocky font. It almost looks like Zelda font, but it's not. And just another very simplistic, very neat cover. And I really love it. Could have been... It's very similar to the Zelda ones. And the gameplay is very similar to Zelda 2, almost. Um... But yeah, it's it's beautiful, and it's just great. So that's a runner-up. Yeah, whatever. What are you gonna do? Take it or leave it. I don't care. <laughs>